ओम भद्रम करने देवा भद्रम पश्चे मक्षत्रा स्थिरे रंग सुषुवानुसनु दिव्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति इंद्रो हृदश्रवा स्वस्ति नूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति नोरिष्टने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओम शांति 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 एज दिस इज द संस्कृत वर्ड आई थॉट सुरेश स्टार्ट विद सम संस्कृत वर्सेस दीज आर द सेम वर्सेस दैट वर चार्टेड 5000 इयर्स अगो ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ द ऑफ द गैंगस दैट इज द ग्रेट थिंग अबाउट आवर सिविलाइजेशन देयर इज दिस अनब्रोकन लिंक फॉर thousands of years and uh, sanskrit is now uh, well accepted as being one of the most remarkable languages that the world has produced not only in its in the exquisiteness of its structure um, which is also a pioneer uh, grammar is a work of genius but also in the pure extent there is a there is a view that sanskrit only deals with philosophy that's not true it deals with philosophy of course its strong point is philosophy but it deals also with all sorts of other things with medicine with grammar with aeronautics with metallurgy with history with a whole range of subjects so it is a huge corpus of literature for example the mahabharata itself is bigger than the odyssey and the iliad combined it is so huge and there is only one of the, of our dozen and dozen of them uh, my own view of course is that philosophically upanishads are the high water mark of of sanskrit uh, philosophy but nonetheless sanskrit is now as i said being studied in several universities of world and this particular function there are four countries involved the award is being given in india the award lives in uk the award is from sri lanka and the choice is done by heidelberg university germany so it is a really an international uh, exercise uh, that uh, we are undertaking and so i would be very i'm very happy that uh, um, we have this very brilliant young man he has been going through his after the padha prasad vinka sara is to bhumi jo hai we have our very senior gyan peet awardi the first gyan peet awardi in sanskrit Uh, and he is uh, he done a lot of very interesting things he you know bhakti hari on the sanskrit mahakavya after kalidas but in kalidas ke baad i have lost count after kalidas ke kya and bhakti hari on the meaning of silence that i find fascinating you know there is a song the sound of silence so i wonder what the meaning of silence is but uh, before i give the award i i request the dg to on behalf of the iccr to formally welcome uh, yes sir uh, uh, i'm sorry sir it rather looks awkward to welcome the body after you have given the keynote address and most of what i wanted to say you have already said that's why i'm uh, proposing <laughs> <laughs> but i'm sorry i was actually with the no, 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 no. uh, i got your message this morning sir sir uh but uh, i would like to extend a very warm welcome to the body uh uh mr sani sani viratne uh to to who has won this award on the basis of a decision taken in the hyderabad university as the president icc had mentioned so in that sense uh apart from the fact that sanskrit is a highly scientific language language scientific language and of science really which covers a very vast ground of human endeavor not just philosophy as a president said but basically it is all about the human existence and what they do in terms of the further progress for the growth of the society but it is also now as we discover uh, the language of cohesive position amongst nations and amongst societies and that is what indian culture is all about indian culture is talk about not fragmentation of people but they are being together when we talk about our inclusive culture what we talk about is 
really how the human society is individually indivisible. And that I think that is the education we get from Sanskrit and our Vedas and our Upanishads. Ekatvam. Ekatvam. Who has seen the oneness, the unity of our religion. Which is very different from what we see that uh, like India never really believed in national boundaries earlier. We were a cultural entity, we were a civilizational entity, but there was no division into geopolitical units uh, earlier. So this is more, uh, uh, please forgive me, this is more a European gift mm. to us to create those geopolitical divisions where we create boundaries, people requiring visas to move around. Move the gift or a curse, <laughs> Sir, I, I am a diplomat, so you are a minister, so you have the liberty to call it a <laughs> but I do agree with you. <laughs> so, this is what Sanskrit is all about, with great respect for this language, about ancient heritage, which teaches us to be together, which teaches us the commonness or the unity of the human race, and the Vasundhara, one, one word. Today, the ecologists talk about uh, the uniqueness of our ecosystem, but we were talking about one word, also there could be even much before that. So with very few words, uh, it doesn't really, it's not proper for me to speak after you, but thank you very much, and once again I welcome you. I'm sure that you have been here before many times, if you learned Sanskrit. But this is the first time. BHU, you never went to the BHU. You went to the BHU. Yes, this is true, but and in that case, it's even more complicated. <laughs> uh, for you to have picked up language so well, and not only the language, but what language means, what it means for us. Once again, welcome to you to the India, and I hope you make the most of it when you are here. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, of course, uh, thank you to our Audible Dr. Karan Singh for the lovely words, and we are indeed blessed to hear your voice always and forever. Ladies and gentlemen, now that moment has arrived for which all of us and especially Dr. Uh, Mr. Rona have been anxiously waiting for to receive the award. And for that, I would request our Honorable Dr. Karan Singh to kindly present the award to Mr. Rohana Senvaratni. The Saraswati Sanskrit Award for the year 2012. The Saraswati and a sense of achievement are just some of the many emotions the winner would feel at this moment. I would now take this opportunity to invite Mr. Rohna to kindly tell us about his journey so far and what he has uh, for the future. Please welcome Mr. Rohna. <laughs> 